Welcome back, welcome back. It's me, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Pat Benatar and Neil Giardo. Giardo? Uh, this is Promises in the Dark. Let's see what they have to say. Hey, Austin, how are you doing? It's so great to see you. This is so exciting. Are you excited? <laughs> I love her speaking voice. So many times, but this is the very first time that we're doing Austin City Limits, so we're very excited. We are celebrating our 44th musical anniversary this year. Wow. Yeah, it's great. And we are also celebrating our 41st wedding anniversary this year. Oh, the guy on the piano is her husband? Wow. So back in 1979, when oh, we, Spider and I first met, we put the band together and um, we started to write songs right away. And in the beginning, we were so young, we were in a new relationship. It was so awkward that we didn't write songs about our personal stuff. Smart. We pretty much wrote about all y'all. Smart. <laughs> Everything you were doing, anything crazy that was going on with you, but as a uh, you know, time went on, we got a little bit older, a little bit more secure in the relationship. We did start to write personal songs, and this next one is the very first one. Wow, okay, y'all know I love a story time. You know I love any kind of information, and I love that. My first thought was I love her speaking voice. She has a beautiful speaking voice, a voice that you can tell she's a singer. Sometimes you can just tell by someone's voice that they can sing the house down. She's one of those. She has aged so beautifully and so gracefully. Like, I can only hope and pray to age like that. I love the bangs. I love the silver hair. Um, I don't believe the man on the piano who she pointed to is the Neil Girardo gentleman. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm butchering that. It feels like she called him Spider, but I'm not sure. But I love that story. I love that. I think that was really smart of them not to, like, write about their personal life until they felt, you know, mutually agreed on that um and i i wondered why she kept saying we i'm like this is a really nice lady to be giving credit to everyone on stage when the the act is pat benatar right uh but every act has supporting um people that need more credit so i love that she was saying we she just seems like a class act um, all right. Well, I'm really grateful to have that information. Just knowing like this song is about their personal love. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. 40 years of marriage, 40 plus years is amazing in, in the industry together. Unheard of. Oh, he's handsome. He's very handsome. His hair is amazing. Never again. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> you said. You've been through this before and you swore this time you'd think with your head. Oh. No one would ever have you. Oh, tied and bound. She did a brilliant job of preserving her voice. Her voice is still, I mean, I feel like what I watched a couple of days ago and reacted to of her, she was decades younger. And her voice still has that same impactfulness, same strength. Uh, and that means she did a really good job of preserving her voice over the decades of her career, which is Y'all see some of these artists out here and what they end up sounding like. She also has the same energy. I mean, this is a ballad compared to uh, a few, the songs I've reacted to of her, but she still has such a presence, uh, a stage presence. I just think she's phenomenal. 
And this feels really personal, passionate, and heartfelt, which I love. Oh. Didn't see this coming. Didn't see it coming. Didn't see it coming. Didn't see it coming. I'm like, it's a ballad. Oh. What a handsome couple. I mean, are you kidding me? Look at them. They both aged like the finest, tastiest, robust wine on the market. His yellow guitar is sensational. I didn't see this coming. So does the song not start off slow as a ballad? Is this just like a arrangement that they do live? Or does the song actually start, start off like that? I love it either way. I'm just asking. Uh, I do think she's lip syncing now watching her. Unless the video is not synced up with the audio, there are a couple of moments where you can kind of catch that it's lip syncing, which is fine because I still think, obviously she had to record it with her real voice, meaning her voice is preserved. And maybe that's how you preserve your voice. You don't get on, on, on every stage and sing live. <laughs> More power to you. You got, you know what I mean? You got to preserve it. Um, I just think, you know, I think in the culture of, of celebrity nowadays where everyone feels like they have to maintain their youth and pump their faces and bodies full of all these things to look as young as possible. It's like, look at this beautiful example of 40 plus years of marriage in the music industry. They look phenomenal. They sound phenomenal. They're still together making music. How, how beautiful. Yeah, lady, rock out. <laughs> I also love what she's wearing. It's really chic. The voice, strong. Whew. He kind of reminds me of Steve Martin. A little bit. Are y'all getting Steve Martin at all or is it just me? I say this often too that I think I think I say it more in 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 reference to male bands but I can say it here for them I think music keeps artists young like you know what I mean they just feel like they're still their same youthful selves and I think they have a lot of that to lend towards the music and just how youthful music keeps you I mean, look at them. They don't feel like they've skipped a beat. You know what I mean? Like, I think sometimes you can watch artists who are not in their prime anymore. And sometimes you can feel like, oh, like they just don't have it anymore. The energy is different. No, they feel very energetic and I love it. He's got tattoos on his wrist. I love the cadence. 
Sing, girl. Oh, 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 oh. Get it, girl. Yeah. Move that. See? Energy. Look at them. Perfect. 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 So that is Neil. She just call him Spider. Or did I miss understand what she said fabulous i've said it all we don't have to talk anymore about it i hope you guys enjoyed it go and have the day you deserve bye